Hi again, everyone, and welcome to Albuquerque, New Mexico, the site of second and third round games here Thursday and Saturday in the East Regional. I'm Mike Lucas for UWBadgers.com. I'm joined by Matt LePay, the voice of the Badgers. You know what? We've been here before, haven't we? Yeah, 12 years ago. What memories, huh? I, mean, I, don't, I don't remember a whole lot about the city. I remember it's a great arena, and uh, obviously the memories of going to the Final Four with, with Dick Bennett um, it was unbelievable, but it, I do remember the venue being a great basketball venue, and that's what I'm looking forward to this time around. Bo Ryan felt it was important to get here as early as possible, and that has a lot to do with the altitude, does it not? Yeah, I would think it would be part of it, and he had a whole buddy of his from Chester, Pennsylvania, who's lived out Which here for a it. while, of course. You just, you, you never you never completely leave Chester, uh, but was able to get him into uh, one of the local high schools, so they had a good practice on, on Tuesday afternoon, and then they'll have another practice somewhere else uh, Wednesday before they're open, the open gym at the pit uh, later in the day. But uh, yeah, just getting out here, I think getting acclimated to uh, everything that is all all about Albuquerque and most importantly the 5,300 feet above sea level, and you want to get your guys ready for that. By now, the Badgers should be pretty comfortable with the 413 matchup. This is the third <laughs> straight year for that. It is, and they're going to face a team that's going to come in loose and hot. Uh, they've won 14 in a row. Uh, Freddie Owens, as everybody knows, uh, the former Badger player, has uh, been an assistant now for the past three years uh, with the Montana Grizzlies. And they come in feeling pretty good about things. Regular season and, and the Big Sky Tournament uh, champions, 14 wins straight. Uh, they don't play a lot of guys, Mike. They're not particularly deep. But in that championship game, all five of the starters scored in double figures. So they have a lot of threats. And what's impressive of what we've seen thus far on Montana is that the guards are very good, very strong. And their bigs will step out and hit the three. Yeah, sounds familiar, right? It does. Uh, I'm really intrigued to uh, watch the matchup. Will Cherry, Big Sky Defense Player of the Year. Uh, you figure he's going to be spending a lot of time getting to know Jordan Taylor uh, on Thursday afternoon. So you look forward to that matchup. And Derek Selvig, one of those bigs you're talking about, uh, can step out and, and shoots better than 42 43% from, from long range. They also had a guy in Ward who doesn't shoot a lot of threes, but he hit a couple of big ones in the game against Weber State. So the formula, you know, we know Jared Berger and can step out. Well, they have a guy who can do that as well. And the key is not to get caught looking ahead. Uh, Vanderbilt uh, is also in this pod, and Bandy is one of the hot teams coming off that upset win over Kentucky. Yeah, it is, and that, that's where you look forward to uh, watching Wisconsin to see if it can continue a pretty impressive number, of, a lot of impressive statistics under Bo, but... 9-1 and one in the first round of the NCAA tournament. I know Bo gives a lot of credit to Greg Gard, his associate head coach, who will have the scout for uh, Montana and has had the scout for the first round games. It's a heck of a mark, and hopefully they can make that 10-1. and one. 14 straight years in the big yeah. dance. Isn't that so? It really is, Mike. I mean, you know, you've been around here longer than I have, but I just remember the first few years that I was covering this program, late 80s, early 90s, that had to be fun to be around a team that's part of the March Madness. You don't take it for granted, and I know this team doesn't either. Bo admitted that he didn't know if this team had the goods, but after that win at Purdue, they got on a nice roll, and uh, it, it's kind of like nice ball games. It never gets old being in the tournament. For Matt LePay, I'm Mike Lucas. This has been Tuesday's Basketball Report from Albuquerque, New Mexico. Thanks for watching UWBadgers.com.